Hello, I'm Karol. I'm Software Development Manager at Tesco. And I'm Matt, Head of Frontend Engineering at Virtus Lab. And together with Carol, we are going to tell you something more about the 50K multi-channel solution that we did together in the Tesco. So we start with a description of our product vision, and then we'll uh, quickly describe our custom tenancy solution. So let's start. What was the idea for our product? So we thought that our colleagues need a single place uh, in which they will be able to access all the news that um, uh, regarding our uh, company, our life uh, at Tesco, and a single place that they can find all the tools they need for uh, their day-to-day -day <coughs> work. Um, so based on that idea, we thought that uh, we need three requirements for this application. First of all, we need the content to be manageable in easy, an easy way. We need um, some kind of possibility to preview uh, what, we've did, what we did, and then when we uh, finally publish our work to moderate the, the content in an easy way without need of uh, engineering uh, help. Um, because we have a lot of different audiences in, uh, in Tesco, we need some way to separate those applications from each other. So a tenancy solution. And third requirement, a bit technical, is to provide a way to configure those applications on the fly, uh, manage their metadata. So the result of this idea is a product we called our Tesco, which is a big site of uh, news, of applications, shortcuts, and uh, a lot, lots of content we need to manage. And thanks to Strapi, we don't need any engineering work uh, to, to be able to manage it and keep it running. So it's all there. We have dynamic navigation, we have comments moderation with uh, pretty uh, easy to manage UI. We have um, e easy content editing um, and easy to learn tools uh, to manage that. Um, we implemented a provider of configuration for our applications. Uh, we can uh, send our users some notifications about coming maintenance. Uh, so they all know what is happening on the site. And all these things uh, are managed with a roll-up based access control. So um, we are safe and we are confident about, uh, about the changes that are being made there. So now uh, I will pass, pass the mic to, to Matt, who will uh, tell you more about the, our custom tenancy solution. Yeah, thank you very much, Carol. And uh, my part is going to be much more technical based on the use case that uh, Carol described. So what was the idea behind the tenancy? We've been looking for something easy to manage and uh, easy to scale in terms of uh, infrastructure and manage in terms of uh, our client side, so our business units, which got different requirement per each, because the, based on the Tesco nature, there are multiple business units, multiple subsidiaries that got different requirements per content editing, but they need easy to use tool to do this. And the decision has been made, yeah? So we decided for the tenancy, but there was a question, what kind of a tenancy, physical or virtual, is going to be required? And in long and longer term, what's going to pay off as we are going to make a decision now? The virtualization concept on a single infrastructure or a physical separation, the full physical separation of a data and as well the infrastructure. So first of all, there was a physical tenant. Yeah, typical tenancy where we've got uh, the separation of a data, of a infrastructure, of a solutions. So separated deployments and uh, really easy encapsulation of a data but from the other side it's hard to manage it and maintain in a longer term and here it comes the virtual tenant so something more abstract yeah we've got a single infrastructure and we are separating the tenancies on a virtual way 
based on the context of the application and the context of the data that the clients are using. It is really easy to manage because we are patching the single instance, but from the other side, the customizations are much harder and requires much more testing. We decided to select the virtual tenancy in a longer term. And what was the virtual tenancy in a nutshell? We've been basing on the collections and relations. So only on the strappy buildings, just to make it easy and plug in, plug out. Together with role-based access delivered by Strapi and our custom single sign-on system joined together, it was really, really powerful. And that, that does not require management from our end. Everything happens automatically. As a follow-up, there was a policy for every API call, which was validated by the policy with internal Tesco APIs required for identity, who you are in the Tesco structure and to which data you should have access to. There was a separated context per each tenant on the UI, where by a single click, you are able to change the context for one of the many that you've got the access, starting from the admin to my single use case. And the API context with a specific client IDs, the API clients were able just to get the data that were eligible for. And everything all, all of it together was the automation. Yeah. Everything being configured in the files and automated from the side of a strapi. So there was no need for us to click through the role-based access, create the tenants, etc. Everything happens automatically. How we did it? That was a typical Strapi plugin, the tenancy plugin, which extends the whole Strapi itself. The building plugin controllers of a content management. And we have created a structure called proxy. So without the tenancy, Strapi behaves as regular. But with a tenancy plugin applied, it was, the, it was on the higher level of a abstraction and gives a lot of a powerful tools. From the code perspective, we have developed the decorators, a set of a decorators specific per each plugin. The internal plugin, of a content management, as well as the external community plugins created like a comments and the navigation. So by the plugin API and the extensions strategy of a Strapi itself, it was really, really easy. Even looking into the code base, it looks really complex, but from the side of a extensions, it's easy as a charm. Thanks to that, we've managed the full scoped virtual multi-tenancy. Easy to use as that was our principle. And with a Strapi, everything was possible. Yeah, everything was driven by the single click. So users were using the, every time the same instance, but they've been managing multiple business units, multiple tenancies depends to which they got access to. So let's close our presentation with some numbers. Here you can see we are handling about 50,000 unique users each day on average. Also, number of successful weekly, weekly requests uh, is about uh, 12 million. We have 30 separate tenants and we have just today, during peak hours, we had 21 uh, transactions per second being handled by Strapi. Quite some numbers, right? Thank you for your attention. It was nice to seeing you. Yep. And feel free to ask us the questions on the chat. Thank you.